There was once a peculiar man called Lenkoya. One day he made a very different kind of trap for catching something. As soon as he finished the trap, a hobgloban arrived. She inquired, Lenkoy, for what purpose are you making this trap? Lenkoya, was reluctant to tell the exact purpose of the trap. However the hobgloban inquired again and again and she also said that she wanted to test the trap with her forefinger. No, said Lenkoya. The hobgloban said, then let me test it with my hand. But Lenkoya did not want her to be trapped by her hands or legs or neck. She said again, I'll test it with my body rolled upside down. Knowing the over-enthusiastic attempt by the hobgloban, Lenkoya allowed her to be caught in the trap. At first, it was not so bad. She could speak and laugh and enjoy it for some times. In the meantime, Lenkoya prepared a big bat out of tree trunk. When she asked the reason for his preparing such a bat, Lenkoya said, it will be used for reserve property. After a long time, the pain caused by the trap began to increase and the hobgloban did not enjoy it anymore. She asked Lenkoya to release her from the trap. However, he came and beat her to death, much against the expectation of the hobgloban. Then, Lenkoya took out the stomach portion of the hobgloban and cleaned the intestine to be eaten. While he was cleaning the intestine with water in a nearby stream, a group of ghosts came and asked. What intestine is that? He replied, it's a goat's intestines. But they didn't believe, they said, it's not a goat's, it has certain marks and lines. One group left and another group came, asking the same question. The washer, on each occasion, mentioned different names for his answer, and the enquirers did not really accept the responses made by him. Lastly, one group of hobgloblins came to the bank of the stream and asked once again, what intestine is that? Lenkoya told them, it's Buya's intestine. Oh, yes, Buya's intestine will be good for health and strength, and they began to eat for health and strength trying to get the major share each. While they were busy eating the intestine, the feeder climbed up a nearby tree. From the tree he called to them, hey, you are eating your friend's intestine. Then they stopped a while, listen, Lenkoya is saying something. However, Lenkoya said, oh yes, I said that the one in the middle is beautiful. Then they tried to stay in the middle position. When Lenkoya mentioned the same thing, after two or three occasions, they realized that they had been eating the flesh of their own friend. So, they tried to make her come back to life and vomited out whatever they had eaten. But they could not gather all the parts of the body and they became very angry. They tried to capture Lenkoya. But he made the trunk so slippery that they could not climb it. They decided to cut down the tree and asked for a big hoe for the purpose. Their leader ordered, one of you, go get a big hoe for cutting. Unless there are two of us we dare not go, they replied. Then he asked two persons to go. But they said again, we dare not to go unless we are three. They were detailed to do so. But they said four, five, six and so on up to ten. After that they decided to go all together. Only one blind and one deaf hobgloban were left to guard the place. While all the others were gone to fetch the big hoe, Lenkoya came down and provoked the two to fight with each other. Then he tortured them until one of them involuntarily passed his stool and he put some of it into the other's mouth. Also he pulled out the other's tongue and left the place casually. When the others came back with the hoe, they didn't find Lenkoya and asked the two where he had gone. They didn't know his whereabouts and simply said, towards nowhere. They asked again and again but they could not tell which way he had escaped. The hobgloblins therefore, set out in search of Lenkoya. Out of fear Lenkoya entered an earthen hole which had many instruments like drum, stick, hair comb, salty ash water, potted oil of the mazos. The ghosts stopped at the entrance and discussed what to do next. One of them wanted to check the hole and suggested, string me by my waist, and lower me into the hole, and if I move a bit, pull me out quickly. Then they said, yes, to their friend. 
So, one of them entered the hole, Lenkoya then pushed hard in her face, and put ash water and oil of the potted meal. It became severely painful. When they saw the actual injury in the face, they said, Oh, Lenkoya has too many teeth. So we can't compete with him in bidding. Next, another Hobglobin mustered up enough courage to enter the hole. Lenkoya, this time beat his drum as loud as possible. The Enterer had a feeling that all the mountains were tumbling and even the hole would be completely blocked. She quickly ran out of the hole and told her friends of the horrible noise of the mountains tumbling down and the resounding noise of drum. They were so frightened that they ran away from that area as quickly as possible. Then Lenkoya came out after they had all left the place and found himself quite safe in the area and went home to live a normal life.